hello everyone uh, this session you are going to see how to minimize a dfa the reason why we want to minimize a dfa is to reduce the number of states in a dfa okay uh, like in order to check the complexity of a dfa like uh, we should construct a dfa with the minimum number of states okay and the first step in the minimization of dfa is we have to check for all unreachable state a uh, unreachable state is one which cannot be reached from the starting state okay the reason why we want to eliminate this unreachable state is uh, whatever input we are processing in case of your uh, dfa the transition starts from the starting state okay when we start from the starting state for some input if we cannot reach any state then that state is called as an unreachable state okay for example consider here in this case from a we can reach b and f from b we can reach c and g okay and uh, from g we can reach e from uh, the c state i think for h again from this e we can reach from h okay and here d is the only state where there is no incoming edges actually incoming edges it means that it does not called from any other state okay so we say the state d is not reachable from the starting state okay from a we can reach b and f from b we can reach g like we can make a tick mark over here from a b state is reachable and from uh, f state is reachable and from b g is reachable and c state is reachable and from g we have a link over here okay g when the input is 1 we can move to the state e so this e is also reachable and from e we can reach to the state h h is also reachable the only state that is not reachable from the starting state is d so we have to eliminate this d state from this dfa okay this will be the transition diagram after eliminating this d state from the transition diagram <coughs> we have eliminated this d and all the remaining transition will uh, remains as the same okay so now uh, for minimizing a dfa we are going to check whether uh, like we want to minimize the number of states in the dfa so we have to check whether two states are equivalent or distinguishable the definition for checking a checking two states to be equivalent is for all possible input if one state is if one state goes to a final state then other state should also goes to a final state okay so we check whether two states are equal equivalent if they are equivalent we can combine that for example if you consider the state g and b if we check like whether on all possible input if b goes to final state then f also goes to final state then we can combine these two states together okay so this will minimize the number of states so here we are going to check the equivalence of any two state and we are going to combine that okay i'll repeat the definition for equivalence of a state we say two states to be equivalent if for all possible input one state goes to a final state then other also should goes to a final state and similarly the definition for uh, being two states to be distinguishable is on any one possible input if one state goes to a final and other remains in a non final state we say that as an distinguishable state for example consider here ah uh, here consider e and f state f state when the input is zero it goes to c and e state when the input is zero it hope goes to h where c is a final and h is a non final state okay for any one possible input if one state goes to a final and other remains in a non final state we say that as a distinguishable state okay so we are going to combine each and every state with all other states and we are going to check whether they are equivalent or distinguishable okay and we are going to use some shortcuts for it and we are going to use a table structure like this we call this uh, as a tabulation method this minimization of dfa using this table layer column we call it as an tabulation method where here we have all the states so each and every state is combined with all other state and it is not combined with itself so for example a combined with b c e f g and h b combined with a over here and the remaining states over here 
okay so this table shows one and only relationship between each and every state with other state okay so now you are going to use this table and we are going to cancel over here we are going to find what all uh, distinguishable states and you are going to make a cancellation over here okay and as i told you for this uh, purpose we are going to use some uh, distinct uh, uh, shortcuts for finding it like it is very hard to check each and every state directly over this table there are few steps to be followed uh, in order to minimize this effort okay and uh, the first one is like we said like a final and non final states are different okay on uh, we say two states to be distinguishable for any one possible input if one state goes to a final state and other remains in a non final state we say that is different okay so consider if mt is an input it's epsilon if null uh, it is not null if mt input mt string like we call this epsilon if input is epsilon okay so final state remains in itself and all non final state remains in itself on this input a final state is not equal to the remaining state okay so we can say that c is distinguishable to all other state since c is a final state and the remaining are a non final state so we say that c is not equal to a b c is not equal to e f g and h okay so a uh, few rows are cancelled out over here and the next step is using a transition table uh, this is why i said you like if the input is epsilon c goes to a final state and remaining states remains in itself that is non final state so final and non final law distinguishable and step 2 is using the transition ta uh, table okay so consider this is the transition table for the given dfa way this c or final and remaining or non final state okay so from this we can justify that uh, when the input is f sorry zero f state goes to a final state and remaining stays in a non final state okay so when input is zero f goes to final state so it is not equal to the remaining states a b c e g and h okay so this is the justification we made like we say f is distinguishable from b uh, a b c e g and h okay the reason why we uh, say it is like on one possible input like when the input is zero f goes to a final and remaining state stays in a non final state so we say that f is not equal to this case okay so we can update this in the table in the table we can cancel this f row also okay the reason why we cancel f is f when the input is zero it goes to c okay and the remaining states stays in some other non final states okay so we say that f is distinguishable from some other other state so we can cancel it out okay so the now remaining things need to be uh, discussed a uh, similar case consider here when the input is 1 when the input is 1 b c and h goes to final and remaining states remains in non final state when the input w is equal to 1 state b c and h goes to a final state where is state a e f and g remains in a non final state okay so we say that b is distinguishable from these states c is distinguishable from these states and h is distinguishable from these states okay so again we have to update the table for this in the table we cancel b not equal to a b not equal to e f and g okay and similarly c is row is already cancelled out we don't check it off again and h is not equal to a e f and g okay so now uh, like when you look at this table maximum columns are cancelled out the remaining things are a combined with e a combined with g b combined with h and 
E combined with G. Okay, so these are the remaining portion that we want to discuss over here. Okay, and one uh, one more shortcut for this is like when you want to check the combination of some other elements over here. For example, consider the case B and H. In the given transition table, you can check the column for B and H. Okay, B when the input is zero, both uh, H when the input is zero, both goes to the state G. Okay, and again when the input is one, both goes to the same state. Okay, so if the input starts with zero, both goes to G. Okay, later on all the transition will be zero, will be same. Okay, if Z G on zero, wherever it goes, here also it goes to the same place. Okay, and again C. Here also we have the same case. So with this we can say that transition for B and H are same, and we say that B and H are equivalent. Okay, so we can say that B and H are equivalent state. Okay, so we can update this information in the table. B and H are same. Okay, and similarly we can verify the remaining things also. Okay, when you combine this A and E. Okay, like the next transition we want to check is A and E in the given place. Transition for A, it goes to B and F, and here transition for E, it goes to H and F, and we already know that B and H are equivalent, so we are going to combine both. So here B and H doesn't matter. Okay, so it means that same transition, and here it is same. Okay, so we can say that E. Uh, a and E are again a equivalent state. A and E also a equivalent state. Okay, so in the table we can say that A and E also equivalent. Okay, and um, we have two more places to be checked. One is A and G. Okay, when you check A and G over here, what happen? A when the input is zero, it goes to B. A when the input is one, it goes to F. G when the input is zero, it goes to G. And G when the input is one, it goes to E. Actually, here is a place where we don't find anything. Like uh, all are non-final states, and all are different states. Okay. In this case, we can uh, separately work it out. Like when you want to combine, check for check whether A and um, G state are same. A when the input starts with zero, it goes to B. And G when the input is zero, it goes to G. Okay. And similarly, A when the input is one, it goes to F. G when the input is one, it goes to E. Okay. From this, we can't make any prediction. Okay. The reason is like all these things are non-final state. Okay. And all the uh, the transitions are again, it is different. Okay. So when the input starts with zero or one, we can't make any prediction. Okay, so later on we can proceed with it. When the input starts with zero, and if the next input symbol is zero or one, zero or one. Now the reason why we check all these things is like we have to check whether these two states are equivalent. And the definition for checking two states to be equivalent is for all possible input. If one state goes to a final state, then other should also goes to a final state. Okay. So if the input starts with zero, both goes to a non-final state. So with this, we can't make, we can't justify whether it is an equivalent or a distinguishable state. Again, when an input starts with one, both goes to a non-final different state. So with this also, we can't make any prediction. Okay, so we'll proceed with this. If the input starts with zero, and if the next input is either zero or one, either zero or one, if the input is zero zero, B goes to G. If the input is zero one, B goes to C. C is a final state. And here, what happened in this case of G? If the input is zero, it goes to G. And if the input is one, it goes to E. Okay. So when the input is zero one, one state goes to a final state, and other remains in a non-final state. Okay. So with this, we can say that this and this are not. Equal. Okay. In that case, it is a distinguishable state. Okay. The reason why we say it as distinguishable state is on any one possible input, if one state goes to a non-final state and other remains in a final state, we say that is a distinguishable one. So, with this, we can say that these two states are distinguishable, and we update this in the table. So, we say that 
A and G are distinguishable. Okay, and only one thing remains over here. So that is G and E. We have to check whether G and E are equivalent or distinguishable. When it is G and E, okay, we have a combination of E when the input is zero, it goes to H, and here G on input as zero, it goes to H, and here it is E and F. Okay, and one more shortcut is <clears throat> either we can work out like this. Okay, the previous state. Or we already know that H and G are a distinguishable state. Okay, so from the uh, table we already know that this H and G are distinguishable one. Okay, so this H and G are distinguishable one. So with this we can say that when the input is zero, some way like we go to this H state and when the input is zero somewhere it goes to h and g okay and we know that this h and g are distinguishable state that means that on some input g goes to final and sorry h goes to final and g remains in non final or the vice versa case okay or any one possible condition one state goes to a final and other remains in a non final state so we already said that these two are distinguishable so real so uh, when you combine that g and e should be a distinguishable state okay so we can update that content also in the table so finally we have two combinations over here we say that a and e are equivalent and b and h are equivalent okay so in the transition diagram we can combine these two state together and these two states together and finally we can draw a transition diagram that will be the minimized transition diagram okay uh, this will be the final minimized dfa where we have combined the state ae together and bh together and finally done the transition c will be the only final states okay thank you